Good morning. Yeah, so it's a pleasure to open this conference together with Sönke, of course, uh, from the Alexander von Humboldt Institute. We support um, that uh, initiative since uh, the first ideas, I think. Yeah, so, um, and so I'm very happy to be here. Uh, let me give you some information about, uh, firstly, me and then the Humboldt Institute. Of course, um, I'm responsible, as you mentioned, for internet uh, innovation and uh, innovation and society. So we do the research about the question, what does the inter internet um, does with, with us as uh, individuals, as companies, as society? And so uh, one main fact, of course, is uh, to handle technology. New technology comes up, blockchain and even in the area of uh, blockchain for science, uh, the idea came up. Um, and so um, the idea of the Humboldt Institute is to focus on these kinds of questions and uh, find out uh, which are the main points where we could support these ideas. And so um, that was one of the first days um, when Zünke started a research group uh, in our institute and uh, we had uh, round tables and uh, talked about um, how could we use the blockchain technology even for science. And so um, the idea was uh, to discuss this and um, um, I'm very happy that Zönke had their initiative to do this conference course uh, to bring people together and uh, from all areas, from uh, um, friendly uh, other research institutes and um, so from experts uh, from the scene. That is uh, also our impact uh, to bring together uh, different disciplines. So I'm one of the directors of that institute uh, coming from computer science and uh, other colleagues, uh, director colleagues come from law, um, from um, societal um, research, uh, from business administration research. So we try to bring together all these ideas and doing research on a broader base. And um, one of our first projects, I guess, was that open science book Sönke um, wrote with one of our colleagues, uh, Sascha Frieseke. He's coming tomorrow, I heard. And um, so I'm, I'm very proud about that, even if I'm uh, not the author. But um, uh, you have uh, 458,000 downloads on Springer. So that's uh, number one, and uh, one of the first ones who was open. It was a kind of an open book, uh, download book. So uh, if you not, never had that download currently, so um, just um, maybe you can uh, close the 460,000 gap during these days. So. And um, yeah, now blockchain for science and uh, this conference, um, the idea was uh, to find out what um, blockchain can do for science and knowledge creation. And uh, so to analyze uh, the impact of science and knowledge creation and um, even um, it could help us to, to find new ways maybe of uh, funding research uh, with blockchain technology or shared data. So um, to be sure that uh, the one who own the data and uh, the one who uses the data um, have the right track and history on that um, case. And so that might be one point which uh, is going to be discussed in the conference or in one of the workshops uh, will, which will start. So our ideas and examples was uh, to think about how to use blockchain technology for data, uh, but also for links, identities uh, of researchers and uh, other cases which might come up. And uh, so our focus is to have um, more safety on data we use for science. And um, so that could be one perspective um, in that area. And uh, of course, uh, we are thinking about new funding models uh, in research uh, using blockchain technology. And um, so um, at this time, we did not only analyze and research the field, um, we tried to influence it. And this conference and Zwinke's um, vision is uh, to build up uh, um, a community which is influencing um, the blockchain for science idea. And so um, we would foster in that conference uh, cooperation, of course, um, between people and institutes, uh, prevent wallet gardens. As you said, it's an open, open talk conference. And uh, so we try to open up our 
minds. And um, this is an integral part uh, of this effort, um, this conference, which is uh, starting today. And um, even Berlin, uh, you have seen we are part of the Berlin Science Week, and um, even Berlin is in a perfect um, situation and condition because we have a lot of successful initiatives uh, here started in Berlin, and so I'm happy that we have that conference that you decided to start the conference here. You, had, you, can't, you can't do that anywhere, but uh, you decided for Berlin, and so I'm very happy. And we have a lot of initiative, Bundesblock, for example, um, uh, coming up for, with a, maybe a new German blockchain law and so there are a lot of uh, initiatives um, situated here and um, and we have the chance to look how to enable this idea even blockchain for science idea and um, so um, let's um, start with that conference um, and um, even blockchain um, might have been a kind of a, um, a hype with uh, a very high peak uh, during um, the last year um, Maybe um, lots of you um, got a lot of um, uh, bitcoins, um, and uh, so the the crypto economy craziness, how you call that, um, <laughs> that uh, ended maybe beginning of this year after a downslope. But um, now we are sure that we are in the hype curve uh, now on the stable plateau uh, about uh, blockchain, blockchain for science, um, and so we can have a fundamental claim uh, of blockchain. Um, to, to drive that uh, to a, a real um, successful story. And um, just uh, end with a kind of an outlook. Um, maybe you have seen and uh, heard that um, this conference is followed by a lot of meetups, uh, uh, small conferences, workshops, uh, hackathons, even at uh, my institute and uh, also on Code Academy and other partners in Berlin. So um, if you don't have it done yet, um, just uh, sign in. And um, so uh, I will um, finalize uh, it with a um, great thank you to Zünke um, for the initiative on your vision to start this conference. And I'd be happy to be here and uh, have a wonderful conference. Thank you, Zünke. Thank you.